It was a pitcher's duel, but in the end, it was a walk-off solo shot from Julia DuPont, the senior, getting it done for the Huskies, and they win in extras. Two to one is your final score. These two pitchers getting after it, though. Ovello with a career high, 14 Ks today, and her counterpart, Taylor McQuillan, had eight. Yeah, these two juniors just absolutely went to battle today, and they mixed all pitches and did just such a great job keeping these hitters off balance. And one person has to win and one has to lose. Doesn't matter how good or bad they threw. I mean, they both were absolutely lights out. Did you see Palomino come up here in the sixth inning and gives her team the go-ahead run. You see the excitement on her face running around the bases, knowing that they think they got something, but the seventh inning, McQuillan hits Atley, and that was just enough to put that go-ahead runner on, walks Van Z. And that brings up the sassy sophomore, Sis Bates. <laughs> and she comes up clutch, scoring Burdick. That was... You're not getting her at the plate. That was a tie ball game, and you see Sis Bates there on second. And it gave the senior a chance to win it on the change left up in the zone, and she absolutely crushes that one, and McQuillan knows it. Look at that emotion. Gets a high five from her coach, Heather Tarr. The number one ranked Huskies had dropped two of three games to start conference play down at Arizona State. It was going to be a tough luck loss if they came back against ninth ranked Arizona and wasted a gem of a pitching performance by Taryn Novello, and they were able to come through and get it done two to one. Just three hits on the day, but it was enough for the Washington Huskies to take game one of this series. We'll be with you for game two here from Husky Softball Stadium tomorrow.